Okay, so this is a, another unofficial RetroPie build, um, but this one is uh, even more special than ones I've had before. Uh, and the reason this is so special is it's 128 gigabytes uh, of games, and uh, and they are excellent, and it's so well presented. Now, this download for me uh, with BitTorrent, and I'll put a link in the description, uh, it's available from arcadepunks.com, and uh, it took me about 24 hours to download. Uh, the torrent was incredibly slow, uh, and so I just left my computer on for, for a whole day, and, uh, and it finally finished. Uh, and I always worry when a download takes ages that it's going to work, but this works absolutely fine. And as you can see, there's loads of games on here, 140 games, 248 games for Game Gear. 565 for Game Boy, so a massive, massive collection. Uh, and even to write it to my micro SD card, I use an old 2010 MacBook, took about five hours, uh, and I had to use my, I didn't have any other 128 uh, gigabyte cards, so I had to use the one from my camera, um, but that works absolutely fine. Um, so, and you just write it with Belena Etcher in the normal way, uh, when you start it up, if you've got a controller plugged in, that will automatically configure. Uh, and this is an Xbox 360 wired controller. Uh, but if I jump into any system, so say I just jump into Sega Genesis, what you'll see is that there's loads of detail here. So on the bottom right, there's a write-up of the game. They sometimes have a star rating uh, if it's been rated. Then there's a video uh, and various different things about when it was released. But if I flick through, you often get the cover art. Uh, or the box art, there you go, so you can see the box and then it starts to show the game. So if you're not sure of what games to try uh, and what games you're going to like, you can find it. So I've just seen that Action 52, it's my kind of game, that sort of thrust game, although it's completely different there. Um, is I, I really like that style of game. Oh, is, this, is this 52 games? Yeah, 52 games on your Genesis. But the thrust one on there uh, was the sort of game I, I actually quite enjoy those. Uh, so Adam's family, another Adam's family. Now if I press right, it changes the system. You can see N64. I haven't really done a lot of N64. I'll come back to it uh, in another video. I'm not going to do it in this video because I've got a few games that I wanted to try. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we're getting the box art, we're getting the game, we're getting a write up, we're getting the year. Uh, just loads of information that I can't imagine the amount of uh, work that's gone into this. So I've been looking through and the, the build is by Damaso and Supreme Unified uh, and it's called 128 gig nostalgia trip um, and, uh, and as I say it is, it is amazing. Uh, so the game I was going to try first of all was going to be uh, on the Game Gear and I've actually just done some of this already but unfortunately my game capture device doesn't like capturing when it, when it changes resolution. The 3DO games, by the way, weren't on there. This is from my previous video. I've got a USB stick in there and it automatically detected those. I haven't tried it on this system. Uh, so let's go for Game Gear. There you go. Uh, and, oh, it's on Space Invaders because that's what I last tried. Now, uh, yeah, I, I, I've been trying to screen capture it with my screen capture device, but every time it switches between systems, it tends to mess up. So that's why I'm using uh, an ordinary phone to capture this. And this is actually quite a hard, oh, especially when you use the wrong button. Oh. I think you have lives, but you can also shoot the, the things that are coming down, the bombs. Oh, he's got it. Oh, that's better. Oh, I didn't have that last time. Or oh, maybe it's good that the screen capture didn't work. Oh, nearly. Oh, it's always the hard one. Oh, oh. Oh, he's there. Right, so uh, another system. So let's go back. If you press Xbox button and start and select, if you've configured it in the right way, it boots you back to the system. So another one I was gonna try was Family Game Computer. Uh, and it was the disc version. There you go, so there's Family Computer, uh, and then Family Computer Disc System, uh, and the one I like the look of on there was Donkey Kong Jr. Here we go. 
Now this is quite hard. I was I was playing this earlier on. Oh, and uh, it's actually quite difficult. I'll get on that one. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh, I didn't realise you could take things out as well. Oh, oh yeah, cross there. Oh. Yeah, it's really quite enjoyable, uh, and it, it in a basic way, I really quite like the gameplay on it. I don't know how well. Go on, drop down. Oh, no, no. No, I can't move. Ah, oh, well, let's say I would have done that, <laughs> but that's that's a decent game. Uh, so, uh, what else did I have? Oh, Game Boy system. So, if I press the three buttons together, there we go. And you can either flick right or left, and you can see it goes through the systems like that, uh, or you can press the back button, and you can go through and see it in an easier way. So Game Boy, it's on Bomb Jack because I tried it just now. This is a game I really used to play. I used to like playing in the arcade. And it actually, this version's decent. So even though there's no color and it was on a handheld device, uh, it runs well, it's very playable. This is a game where when you jump, if you tap the button, you fall slower. That was nice, wasn't it? Oh, he's there. It's kind of like Pac-Man, but just better. I really like the, I really like the style of gameplay on this. Oh, he's there. Right. So, uh, what else did I have? I had. Game Boy Advance, WarioWare. So if I go across, so if I go, well, let's have a li little flick through and just see some Game Boy Advance games. I really enjoyed my Game Boy Advance when I had it. It was a really good handheld system at the time. What does FIFA look like on it? Doesn't look that bad, actually. And just, again, the level of detail where you know they're talking about the game sometimes they have a star rating the year is there and the fact that there's a video of the game because uh, generally what i do when i research games is i i have a look around see names that i might like or that i might recognize uh, and then i'll go and look on youtube and try and find uh, some gameplay footage on this it's just a really quick way of being able to see if it's the sort of game you think you would like so let's go up because warrior is going to be near the end of the alphabet and I used to play this loads on my Game Boy Advance. And it's that one, not the, the twisted one I couldn't get to work. And it, and it talked about different angles and things. So I don't know if it was because it, maybe there was a motion detection in the system, but it's obviously not on my Xbox controller. So let's click on that. I tried Dreamcast and I tried um, PlayStation 1 and they didn't work particularly well in this build. Uh, there are better individual, I've got videos of Dreamcast and PS1 uh, running better on the Pi. So WarioWare is a, a selection of mini games, but they just sort of throw you in and give you a vague idea of what you've got to do. Uh, and you basically just got one button for action and then up, down, left, right. Uh, and you've just got to interpret as quick as you can what they're trying to get you to do. Uh, but there's just something really playable and really enjoyable about it. Oh. Now I'm just trying to find if I've got movement here. You see, so you, you just have to do a very quick task on each one. Uh, and sometimes you don't even have to press anything.
Oh, missed it. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> oh, I was lucky then. And then the boss stage usually has uh, a bit of longer mini game. So in here you've got to punch at the right time. There you go, so that's level one. Uh, and it goes on and you get loads of different characters as time goes on. But really, really good game. Definitely recommend WarioWare on the Game Boy Advance. Really holds up well. Uh, the last game I was going to try was going to be N64 and it was V-Rally. And it started off a little shaky, but actually in the gameplay, uh, I, it didn't seem that bad at all. So... Where is N64? And again, look, just, just look how much stuff is there, Virtual Boy. So just flick through, get the box art. All of this is uh, for like virtual goggles. I, I wasn't particularly aware of this system and I was flicking through and I realized they were all red. So what am I looking for? N64. It's just, it's just vast. There is so much stuff on here. And V-Rally again, I'll go up. And let's just hover on a few just to show you little videos. See, they've got a four star review on that, 1998. That looks pretty decent, doesn't it? You're not the fastest runner. V Rally, there you go. I love all the transitions and it's just, there's so much to love about this build. And if you think on some of the harder systems to run, as uh, RetroPie gets more optimised for the Pi 4, then they're going to start to run better. The lower systems run brilliantly at the moment. Oh, and those, the, the, the menus were a bit strange, so I just have to kind of keep pressing buttons uh, and then eventually get into a race. B's accelerate, must be A for brake I guess. Uses the analog stick on this. Actually I'm gonna use the digital one though because it's, I found it a bit more responsive on this. Oh, a bit lucky to get away with that. And I've got the volume a bit low. There is, um, there is instruction coming through but I've got the volume way too low. But yeah, I, I think this looks pretty decent and actually plays pretty well my second place probably a little lock up then but yeah this it just feels smooth it feels like it's probably the speed it's meant to run at and it, it's nice and twitchy, it, feel, it feels, oh, it's tight, oh, he's there, he's gone. Oh, look at that, oh, oh I thought I was going to get away with that, never mind. So, that's, v, oh, that's a view change by pressing Y. Obviously, it depends, uh, X rather, it obviously depends how you've configured your controller. So, let's quit out of that. And I'm going to come back to this build because there's so much in it and maybe when my voice is better, uh, it will be easier to explain it, but uh, if I go back out, there was no operating system that I could find on this. It might be there, uh, and if you find it, let me know. Uh, but if you go into options, uh, and you can see there's various different things there. One of them was overclocking, so I've overclocked this to 2 gig and 620, which you can do within this system. I won't click on it, but if you click on it, it very clearly shows you how to do it, and it reboots and it works fine. Uh, you can see RetroArch is in there as well. Um, but uh, I quit out and tried to launch, uh, you know, some sort of Linux system, and there, there doesn't seem to be anything on there for that, whether you could install it on there. I mean, it, you know, this is all about games, and, and I'm not worried about it not being on there. Uh, it's, it, this, this, as I say, there's so much to love. You know, this, this is when you want to look at games and want to play games, you pop this in 
and you're up and running. So if I go back, let's go through all the systems. So Genesis, Genesis 32, uh, if I just flick through a few of the games on here. Afterburner, BC Racers. And it's very rare that something doesn't have a video or box art or a description or anything like that. So if we try FIFA, some versions of FIFA through the years have been awful. Yeah, that looks very jerky. Um, so Sega CD, let's get down to say Demolition Man. And maybe Final Fight CD. Flick right, and then I get Super Famicom. And you just, you know, you see a name and you think, oh yeah, I wonder what that looks like. And so you can click on it and you can see what sort of game it is straight away. And you can see if it's the sort of game you would be interested in trying. I don't know what that one is, a bit low, low ball bullet gun. Why is that? Nice name. So hit right and uh, Super Nintendo. Something like Aladdin. Oh no, right off on that one, look. Archie McLean, this will be Paul, is it? Oh no. I'm sure there was a Paul or a snooker game that they used to do on, I think it was the Amiga. That looks like Jetpack, doesn't it? So Super Nintendo. Oh, Super Nintendo. Right, so the Hacks version. This, this is really interesting. And I'll, again, I'll probably do a different video on this. But if you find a game, you'll find a hacked version where something about the game will be different. Different characters or different gameplay or different levels. The NBA Jam 2020, so I'm guessing it's got current names. So they've changed all the names and maybe the, the artwork to, to match it up to current day. New Super Mario. And then if I go, what's the Donkey Kong Country 2? And then Super Graphics, only five of those, but they've got write-ups on a few of them. So much to explore. So what we are now, Turbo Graphics 16. What have we got on there? Champions Forever, Boxing. <laughs> Chase HQ. Bit of Tennis. That doesn't look too bad. Gallagher. Moto Rhoda. I quite like my top down races. Not sure about that. Might give it a go. Uh, all games, so this is everything together. Has it got a total? Or it might do, if I go back. 7,755 games. So I put five on there, which are the 3D one, 3DO ones. Arcade Classics. Oh, and I was going to do a bit of one of these as well. I was going to do... Oh, I really need to have a look at Tron at another time. Uh, I was going to do the um, 88 games. This is a button... Button basher, uh, you know, like the sort of uh, hyper sports, that sort of thing. But it's quite hard on the Xbox 360 controller, as I found out when I tried to play it. And I like about the arcade ones, you press select to put a coin in and press start to start. Let's, let's put 30p in there, might as well. Right, so. This was quite hard to qualify on. Need a better technique. Oh, he's catching me. 
Did he beat me? Yeah, oh, he did. He always beats me. But I did qualify. Now it always used to be about 45 degrees was was the, the angle that you would get on something like this. So let's see. Oh, 54, look. 650 is my qualify. Nowhere near that. And I thought I was going quite fast. Unless it's really punishing if you get, uh, you know, over 50% maybe. Oh, don't do it too early. Thirty-eight, oh, in between. Is that worse or better? Oh, I'm not going to qualify, <laughs> unless something. I, I thought I was going quite fast. It, it feels like I'm going quite fast. I got cold. That's what it is. That's my excuse. Oh no, no, that really slowed down. <laughs> and then I fell. Okay, right. So I was nearer the target. But then I was well over the line, so so definitely worth a revisit that. And uh, the last thing I wanted to do, oh no, there's still more, look. Atari 7800. It looks really smooth, that. I, was, I, I saw that before, and it looked really smooth for the age of the system. More Donkey Kong that. Much more traditional one. Food fight. <laughs> Massive head. Oh, impossible mission. The animation always seemed amazing for its day on impossible mission. Right, so a Tommy's wave. Don't really know what that is. Graphics look great there, don't they? Yeah, that looks that looks really good. Right, Dreamcast. So say Dreamcast went a bit slow. So it needs a bit more optimization. And so if you want to add your own games, you can by putting a USB stick in and doing it, if you look on the RetroPie website about folder structure, uh, so where you put the games, because that's all my 3DO games were, and they showed up straight away with that, without any configuration. Uh, so, Game Boy, I was going to go back to Mega Genesis Hacks. So this is interesting as well, so NHL 20, so uh, more up-to-date version of, of NHL, uh, and also, yes, yeah, Sonic and Yoshi, Sonic Megamix, uh, but also these Streets of Rage variations, where there's a Simpsons one, Street Fighter, Teenage Mutant Turtles, Batman, and Superman, World's Finest Edition. Uh, Whatever that one is, WWF edition. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. And then a crisis, I don't know what that is. Uh, so if I go back, yeah. So I'm really impressed. I, I can't believe how good this is. Uh, the, the amount of work that's gone into this, the amount of games that are on there, uh, it is superb. And uh, I, will, I will be revisiting this Hopefully when my voice is a bit better. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.